Welcome to this knowledge series from Cancer Rounds. Today we are going to talk about allogenic bone marrow transplant and how does it take place. So dear friends, if you are suffering from blood cancers called acute leukemias, aplastic anemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, or you are suffering from a relapsed lymphomas, or you are suffering from chronic myeloid leukemia, or you are suffering from any other disorders, there is an indication for an allogenic bone marrow transplant. Allogenic transplant also helps in curing sickle cell and thalassemia. So how do you prepare for an allogenic transplant? So you know the indications now, any high risk leukemias or sickle cell, thalassemia, aplastic, you require bone marrow transplant. So first thing in allogenic transplant is you have to have a match from your brother or sister. Match means not blood group match, not blood group match, not blood group match, not blood group match, but HLA typing, HLA human leukocyte antigen matching with your brother and sister. The test is done as called HLA typing high resolution, which can happen with three ways. One is from the cheek swab because cheek you have to just rub it across your cheek, no operations, just cheek, rub it across inside of the cheek after swishing and spitting let it dry pack it and send it to us second way is get a edta sample done 3 ml blood that can come or third is the dry blood spot test where on a tissue paper or on a normal paper you can dry up your blood and send it across to us we can extract the dna out of it ideally it has to be 10 out of 10 match that's called high resolution HLA or 12 by 12 match. Some countries say 10 by 10, 10 by 10. Somebody says 12 by 12. But all you require is a high resolution. It means A, B, C, D, R, D, Q, D, P. You need to have three antigens and alleles to be matched. And that is called 10 by 10 match. So I'll show you the reports and send it across to you the reports to better understand. But the first thing in the bone marrow transplant, if you have an indication for an allogenic transplant is an HLA type. Once you have the HLA typing, the result will be either there will be a match or there will be no match. Once you have a match, you start preparing yourself and your donor and donor has to give 300 ml of blood and there is no admission for the donor except for one day he gets some GCSF injections to increase his WBC count. So it is absolutely risk free. There is no risk to life. He gets admitted for one day, the so center line goes inside, stem cell gets collected in three to four hours and then he gets disappeared and then in the time within the next four hours the stem cells get replenished so you're not losing the donor is not losing is not getting subtracted any of the organs like kidney transplant or liver transplant and it is safe so donor please 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 don't get worried about it for the patient you have to get certain blood tests done right from cbc lft rft renal function lung function tests hrct chest uh, heart echo to be done so that and the viral screening for CMV as well as HIV, HBCG, HCV so as to know that there is no other organ which is involved or rather other organs are fit for this battle to be taken care of. So once you have done that you analyze the result and similarly for the donors you get the blood test done and all these are normal patient gets admitted patient gets a chemotherapy done. Patient gets a chemotherapy depending upon the, the kind of a disease which he has. Flu, bu, flu, trio or flu, psi, ATG. You get a chemotherapy done and on sixth day you take out the stem cells which is from the peripheral blood and not from the bone marrow. You take out, put it back inside the patient. Donor disappears. Patient remains in the hospital for another first for six days and then once the stem cells is infused another 14 days. In this time, patient do develop fever, patient do develop infection, and these are inherent own infections from the gut which gets transmigrated to the bloodstream causing havoc in the body. So fever, you get uh, uh, loose motions, you get pain in the mouth, you get, uh, you can have a tachycardia, you can have a breathing difficulty, you can develop a pneumonia. So by and large, by day 14, when the neutrophil, the good cells comes by, which is called engraftment. And in, during this period, you will also get blood and platelet transfusion recurrently so as to keep you safe. Once that is done, the day 14 results comes by, neutrophil has engrafted, the good cells have come, 
fever disappears, mucositis disappears, neutropenic enterocolitis disappears, you are ready for discharge. But that's the second phase which has got over there. But the third phase, the bigger phase is now lingering loom at your place. What is that? After 14 days, every week you will come for a blood test on a Monday morning, which is cyclosporin level. You get blood test done, CMV test done up to day 100. And in high risk leukemias, you do give a maintenance therapy like azacitidine on day 35 and 40. And in the high risk leukemias, you do do a bone marrow test on day 30, day 60 and day 90 so as to see how much engraftment has taken place and whether disease is not coming back. And of course, you do the kinarism also to know whether the donor cells has been accepted into the patient or not. During this time, 20% people can develop graft versus host disease, which is a fight between the donor and the recipient cells. And the battle playground is basically lung, or sorry, basically gut, liver, and skin. So anytime you develop a loose motions up to day 100, that's been taken as acute GVHD and you get treated. Out of these 20% people, majority do respond, but if you have a grade 4 GVHD, this can be a life threatening risk. In any transplant, there is always a 10 to 15% risk to death because of infections, because of GVHD, because of non tolerability of the chemotherapy which one gets because to kill the bad cells or the leukemic stem cells. Once day 100 comes by, you stop that, the uh, immunosuppressive drugs called cyclosporin and then you are ready to fly back to your home in a happy state and start working your own living, uh, fall living in one month's time. So by fourth or fifth month, you are ready to go and by six months, you are ready for immunization because long term immunity has got disappeared by virtue of using the drugs. So this is what the bone marrow transplant is. But in 30% people only you get the match. But what about this 70% people? Those high resolution HLA comes to us and we research in worldwide registry where the chances might be one in one lakh to find a donor. So you have to wait for three months and you have to continue chemotherapy till the time somebody for you donates in Thailand or US or in Europe and those stem cells comes to us. But the cost goes up because of the donor registry or the registry of that particular country, the amount of money it charges. So say DKMS is $8,000, US is $50,000, US dollars. in India is about close to 8 lakh rupees from Adatri, which they get charged and top of it you use for the bone marrow transplant. But if you don't get a MUD, which is called match unrelated donor, then what do you do? Then there is half match transplant, which is always available within the family that you will be half match with either mother, father, brother, sister or your own kids. You will be half match and that's a tedious job. And that's why la larger amount of antibiotics, larger amount of immunosuppression, prolonged, uh, prolonged uh, chemotherapy, which entails larger cost for half match transplant. But still, if there's a high risk transplant, again, the risk benefit ratio is towards transplant and not towards chemotherapy. So earlier you do a transplant, better it is. Half match transplant is always, uh, always available. And again, a brilliance of science and innovation that from a sibling mud and now half match transplant, that donor is always universally available for 100. But is your center ready for half match transplant? Is that what needs to be seen? And that's what at FMRI, one of the biggest and the largest bone marrow transplant center with biggest team of people contributing to half match transplant is phenomenal. So I think today's world, if you have got an allogenic transplant need, this video will help you and any other questions which you have, Cancer Round will help you to sort out so that you can win over blood cancer by doing bone marrow transplants. Thank you.